now let us discuss about lattice in this video we are going to discuss about what is a lattice and then we will see two examples on whether these hasse diagrams are lattices or not and then the properties of the lattice first let's see the definition for a lattice a lattice is a partially ordered set that is nothing but po set denoted by l comma less than or equal to l is nothing but name of the set less than or equal to is relation in which every pair of elements such as a comma b belongs to the set l has a least upper bound in short we can call it as lub and a greatest lower bound in short we can call it as glb so we know about partially ordered relation if a relation is reflexive anti symmetric and transitive then the relation is called as partially ordered relation if the relation is a partially ordered relation then the corresponding set is called as partially ordered set po set po set is denoted by a pair the first argument is name of the set the second argument is relation so here the point is a lattice is nothing but a po set only in which if you take any pair of elements so every pair of elements such as a comma b belongs to l has a least upper bound as well as greatest greatest lower bound okay so here what is the first one least upper bound least upper bound so least means next we will have upper bound upper bound whereas greatest means next next word is lower so least means upper least upper bound whereas greatest means next word is lower bound now let's see what is least upper bound least upper bound can also be called as supremum supremum or least upper bound can also be called as join operation or this can also be called as sum of elements least upper bound is denoted by a or b so here what is the middle letter r so for remembering purpose this is nothing but v so r and b nearer related so least upper bound is denoted by v v symbol v means union so lub of a comma b equal to a or b so here v means sum operation a or b or we can we can also represent like a joins b so here the formula for least upper bound of a comma b equal to a or b or a joins b so next one is greatest greatest lower bound it is also called as infimum infimum or this can be called as meet so least upper bound means join whereas greatest lower bound means meet next it is called as product product of the elements whereas least upper bound is sum of the elements okay it is denoted by a intersection b least upper bound means r a v b a r b whereas this is a intersection b gub of a comma b equal to the formula is a intersection b or a meets b so here we have two examples so this is the first hasse diagram this is the second hasse diagram so let us see the problem define whether the po set defined by the hasse diagram is lattice or not so here in order to represent that po set so we have some hasse diagram now we have to check whether this hasse diagram is lattice or not so we have two examples so first let's see the first example so this is the first example so lowest element is 1 next here we have 2 next we have 3 next we have 6 six. 6 six. so first we need to construct here two tables so first two table is lub table and then we need to construct glb table so least upper bound table as well as this is greatest greatest lower bound so least means upper value next word is upper whereas greatest means next word is lower so here least upper bound is denoted by the symbol r r 
various greatest lower bound is represented by the symbol and so here what are the parameters what are the values here 1 2 3 6 are the values so columns are nothing but 1 2 3 6 as well as rows are nothing but 1 2 3 6 so in this table also so rows are 1 2 3 6 columns are 1 2 3 6 so first let us calculate the least upper bound so least upper bound means we will focus on upper bound upper bound so first we have to calculate the upper bound of 1 1 next to 1 2 1 3 1 6 so upper bound of 1 1 means here we have only one value that is 1 so 1 will become the upper bound next upper bound of 1 2 is here what is the upper bound 2 is the upper bound whereas 1 is lower okay so 2 is the upper bound next this is 1 3 so upper bound of 1 3 is what is the upper value 3 is the upper value next upper bound of 1 6 is 6 is upper value 6 next row upper bound of 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 6 upper bound of 2 1 is this 2 only next upper bound of 2 3 is these two are at the same level so now we need to focus on its upper value so 2 3 upper value is 6 2 3 upper bound this common divisor it is 6 so upper bound of i am sorry this is 2 2 only whereas this cell is 2 3 so 2 3 means 6 2 3 means 6 what about 2 2 so 2 2 means same value so that is 2 only next upper bound of 2 6 is so 2 6 which is upper value 6 next upper bound of 3 1 upper bound of 3 1 is what is upper value 3 next upper bound of 3 2 is these two are at same level so we have to take its common upper value that is 6 next upper bound of 3 3 is same value so that is 3 bound next upper bound of 3 6 is which is upper value 6 is upper value next to 6 1 6 2 6 3 6 6 so upper bound of 6 1 is 6 upper bound of 6 2 is 6 upper bound of 6 3 is 6 upper bound of 6 6 is 6 next likewise we need to calculate the here we will focus on lower value lower bound so lower, lower bound of 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 6 so lower bound of 1 1 is here we have only one value so that will become the lower value next to lower bound of 1 2 is here what is the lower value 1 is the lower value next lower bound of 1 3 is here what is the lower value 1 is the lower value lower bound of 1 6 is what is the lower value 1 is the lower value next to 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 6 lower bound of 2 1 is what is the lower value 1 is the lower value 2 2 same value single value so 2 2 3 so 2 3 lower value 2 3 lower value same these two are at same level so lower value is this value 1 next to 2 6 lower value 2 next one 3 1 3 1 lower value what is the lower value 1 is the lower value next to 3 2 lower value 1 next to 3 3 lower value single value so 3 next to 3 6 lower value what is the lower value 3 6 3 next next one 6 1 6 1 lower value 1 6 2 lower value 2 6 3 lower value 3 6 6 lower value 6 so if we observe lub and glb table for every pair we have a value so here what is the definition here a lattice is a partially ordered set in which every pair of elements such as a comma b belongs to l has a least upper bound and greatest lower bound if you take one comma one so here the pair is nothing but it has two values so one 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 two one three one six likewise so if you see here if you if you take any pair so every pair has a value if, if every pair has a value in lub as well as elb table then we can say that the that a c diagram is nothing but a lattice suppose if for some pair if you don't have any value then we can say that it is not a lattice okay so we can say that the first example is a lattice now let's see the second example. let's see the second example so first lub table r symbol so a b c d e f 
are nothing but rows and columns. So this is GLV table. So first let us focus on least upper bound, upper value. So AA means single value, A only. AB means, AB means what is upper value? Its upper value is C. Next AC means upper value is C. AD upper value is D. AE upper value is E. AF upper value is F. Next one BA. So BA means upper value is what is upper value? C. BB means B only. BC means C. BD means D. BE means E. BF means F. Next to CA means upper value is C. CB means C. CC means C. CD means D. CE means E. CF means F. Next to D. So DA means D. DB means D. DC means D. DD means D. DE. What is upper value? E, D, F, F. Let us focus on E. EA means E. EB, E. EC, E. ED is also E. E is E. Now let us focus on EF. We need to calculate upper bound of EF. But for EF, we don't have any upper value. So we can say that for EF, there is no lower upper bound. So hyphen. So likewise for FE also, hyphen for FE. So this L represents FE. FE, what is upper value? Nothing. So FA, what is FA? FA means upper value is A. FB means F. FC means F. FD means F. FE hyphen, FF, F. Next let us calculate the greatest lower bound, AA. AA means lower value is A. Next AB. AB, what is lower value? Here we are calculating for lower, greatest lower bound. What is lower value? For AB, we don't have any greatest lower bound. We don't have any lower value for AB. So nothing. Likewise for BA also. For BA also, what is lower value? Nothing. So for AC, what is lower value? For AC, A. For AD, A. For AE, A. For AF, A. Next for BB, B. For BC, B. For BD, B. For BB, B. For BF, B. For CA, C. I am sorry, A, lower value. Next for CB, what is lower value? B, CB, B. Next for CC, C. For CD, lower value, C. Next. For CE, what is lower value? C. For CF, lower value is C. Next, for DA, lower value? A. DB, B. DC, C. DD, D. DE, what is lower value? D. DF, what is lower value? D. Next, for EA, lower value? A. For EB, B. For EC, C. For ED, D. For EE. For EF, what is the lower value? D is the lower value. Next, for F, for FA, lower value is A. For FB, B. For FC, C. For FD, D. For FE, what is the lower value? This D is the lower value. For FF, F, F is the lower value. If you observe here, in lower bound, in lower upper bound table, for the entry, EF and FE, EF, E and F, for EF and FE, LUB doesn't exist. Likewise, in GLB table, for AB and BA cell, this lower, greatest lower bound doesn't exist. So we can say that this Hussey diagram is not a lattice. If for all the pages, if we have LUB and GLB, then we can say that it is a lattice. But here for two cells, here two cells, here two cells, we don't have LUB and GL, G, GLB. So we can say that this Hussey diagram is not a lattice. Now let us discuss here about lattice properties. Lattice properties. We have four properties. The first property is idempotent property. Here we, we know about all these properties. All these properties are covered in uh, prepositions only. Idempotent property. We know about idempotent law, idempotent property. Idempotent means we have to perform operation on the single preposition. So A R A means A. Next one, second one is 
A and A means A. Next one is uh, commutative property. Commutative property. So commutative means A R B equal to B R A. Second one, A and B equal to B and A. So this is the second property. Third one is associative property. Associative property. We know about associative property. A R same symbol. A R B R C equal to A R B R C. Likewise for and also write the operation. Fourth one is absorption property. Absorption property. Absorption means we will have different symbols, but we will have only two propositions. A R two pairs, two values. A R A and B equal to A. Second one is different symbols. A and A R B equal to A. So this is about what is a lattice. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.